Salve, Dartonians, and welcome back to The Wandering LARPer. As always, I'm your host, Salvatore. On today's episode of The Wandering LARPer, we are going to show you how to create your own LARP torch. So we are going to go around town, gather up all the materials needed. Our first stop is picking out some awesome crystals for our torch at Forever in a Day in Woodstock, Georgia. So without further ado, let's go on inside. All right, Dartonians, welcome back to the studio. So we're gonna get this episode going right now. Um, we've selected all of our crystals that we're gonna use from the project for uh, uh, the torches. We got them at Forever in a Day in Woodstock, Georgia. So let's take a close up look at these crystals because they're really cool. So this is a done one that I did. Um, as you can see, uh, uh, it's fabric wrapped, got a little bit of fur on it, uh, hemp rope on it. The uh, crystal is situated in there really well. It's just a really sweet piece. So I'm gonna show you how to create your own today. So the first thing you wanna do is pick out kind of an uh, obelisk shaped crystal, uh, something with the bottom flat that's imperative. Um, when you go into the store to pick out your crystal, uh, use your cell phone's flashlight because that's gonna really help you because it's gonna uh, uh, tell you how much light is gonna emit through it and you know what the color is gonna look like. So the next thing you wanna do is get a flashlight that's matching, okay? Um, when I mean matching, uh, look at the bottom of your crystal and see which flashlight uh, it matches up with. So I found this Coast flashlight at Walmart. Let's take a close up look at this. All right, so always have a nice pair of craft scissors just so that makes it a lot easier to open up all the packaging. Um, I mean, you could go at it like a barbarian, but who needs injuries uh, in the middle of a LARP season? We have so many LARPs we're doing this year. The last thing I need is a cut on my hand from a piece of plastic. So I like to open up everything safely. So this is a pretty sweet flashlight. Um, 320 lumens, real cool piece. So as you can see, it matches up with our crystal fairly well. So that is a definite bonus for us. This is gonna seed in there very easily. Uh, all we're gonna use is some uh, duct tape or gaff tape. Um, I chose the Gorilla Glue or Gorilla Tape to go, I guess from the original Gorilla Glue brand. Um, this has been really good for some LARP stuff. I've used it for, uh, it's weather resistant. It really just lasts through heat, everything. So this is a good go-to. This isn't gonna melt off or have any problem with a 320 lumen flashlight. It's not gonna emit that much heat. So let's uh, start the project and get this wrapped up. So what you wanna do like any duct tape project is you know just create layers, just keep going around until it's situated in there really tight. And also, you know, it's gonna stop uh, any uh, little points from emitting light out without going through your crystal first. So very easy project, very cheap, um, simple to do. Okay, so we have a uh, Gorilla tape two of these uh, We taped them like the Dickens, so they are absolutely held down um, uh, These things should last a long time. They're so taped in okay So the next part is the fabric because obviously we don't want a duct tape flashlight Nothing's cool about that. Nothing would be good at bringing that to a LARP. That is not a in-play torch So check out this fabric that we found
The fabric is uh, a, a faux leather, so uh, it's gonna look sturdy. It's also got a vinyl -y feel, which is uh, very imperative to the project because we're gonna have to pull it really taut and E600 it down or E6000 it down. So um, let's get into it. Let's cut some fabric. We're gonna put our torch against it just to see how much fabric we're gonna use. So this fabric was really cheap. I think I paid uh, um, eight or nine dollars a yard at Walmart, and all I needed for the project was half a yard. So it's only four or five bucks for this fabric, and the fabric's really awesome. Okay, so now that I have the fabric cut out, it's the right size, everything. Um, I line it up and I add space at the bottom and a little bit of looseness so that I can change the battery at any time. That's something really important in the project. You want to make sure that the batteries uh, um, come in from the bottom of the device because if it comes in from the top of the device, that's a no-go because that's everything holding down the crystal. That's everything holding down the fabric wrap. It has to come from the bottom and uh, be easy to access. Okay, so we're just going to kind of roll the fabric in there, just like this, getting it really taut. Okay, one last time, we're going to check out this fitting. Okay, that fits awesome. So the next thing we're going to do is get our E6000. This is a really cool um, adhesive. Uh, you can actually take a quarter, a 25 cent piece quarter, and you can E6000 it to a t-shirt and then run it through the wash through several cycles and the quarter won't release through the dryer or the wash. So this is some really uh, strong stuff. Make sure when you're using it, you're in a well-ventilated area. It's uh, pretty toxic. Um, for a while, this was banned in California. I'm not sure if it still is or not, but it's available in certain states and not available in others just because of the toxicity, but it is uh, fabulous to work with. Like I said, just make sure you're not um, um, inhaling it deeply. Make sure you're in a ventilated area when using it. So we're just going to go ahead and apply this E6000 now. Um, we're going to kind of make lines like, uh, kind of like when you make a, a toaster strudel, you know, your little icing lines, uh, same thing. Um, just go ahead and make good lines with it. Be pretty liberal. Again, don't waft it. It's, it's very toxic. Okay. So we're just going to fold and roll into this perfect okay we're going to get it nice and taut and then we're going to go on to the next part now that we've got it rolled up really tight what we're going to do is we're going to put rubber bands on it just to hold it even tighter Awesome. We're going to let that dry for 48 hours. Okay, so after 48 hours, you can take the rubber bands off and it's going to be uh, completely dry and E6000 down. It's not going to go anywhere. At that point, any looseness that's on the fabric, um, we're just going to use hemp twine and maybe like a little piece of faux fur on top of that. Um, anywhere that you want to um, uh, put it on the flashlight so there's no form of a flashlight and it looks more torch-like, go ahead and put the twine on there. So let's get a breakdown of this project. What did this cost? Um, how difficult was it to make? Difficulty rating to make? Um, it's a simple project, a very simple craft project. If you have access to a Walmart, which is where I bought the fabric, I bought the E6000 was $3.97. Uh, half a yard of this fabric was about $5. Um, 
the uh, batteries came free with the flashlight. So, you know, check it out. Make sure the flashlight lights up. You know, don't take one off of the shelves that doesn't have fresh batteries in it because that's going to, you know, increase the budget of the project. So we have uh, um, $5 in fabric, $3 in twine, $3 in the E6000. Um, the flashlight was $15 because I wanted a fairly nice one. Um, the crystal was the most expensive part and the crystal was $20. Um, but I wanted to go in person. I didn't want to order it from Amazon. I wanted to show some local love to some small businesses. And, you know, if you're on Amazon, you can't feel the crystal or look at it artistically or see the light emit through it before you purchase it. So it was a pleasure going into that shop. And, um, we're just going to look at some more footage of that shop, run you through all the crystals at the end. And as always, I'm the Wandering LARPer. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Let's take a look at some of these in the dark and just show what they look like. Yeah, these torches are really awesome. Um, they just add a great in-game feel if you need a light or if you just want your caster to look that much more magical this is the way to go it said something about carrying a moon stone. 